can I first mm -hmm. get your reaction to um, Frankie Knuckles' death today? Uh, first of all, it was shock. Uh, I, I, I was called by a, f a few people, and I woke up, and uh, I, I had all these messages. Frankie's dead. Frankie's dead, you know? And uh, I, you know, I just played with him New Year's Eve, and he seemed okay then, but, I mean... You never expect your friends to be taken away from you like that. I mean, he, of course, he would say he was good, but you know, maybe he had some things going on that I didn't know about. And for those who don't know, describe the importance um, of Frankie Knuckles and what it was like working with him in the Chicago house scene back in the 1980s. Well. Frankie DJed at the club that named the music, the warehouse, right? And uh, as far as in influence, uh, house music, when I was making it, I would think of whatever music Frankie would play. And I mean, everybody else was thinking like it's bass lines, it's kick drums. I, I said to myself, I said, what would Frankie play? And that's how I made my house music. Uh, so that that was uh, basically the the gu the guideline for all of us. And what was the Chicago scene that you and Frankie uh, were part of back then? Well, um, it was all dance music so on one dance floor. It was a lot more sparse and and uh, less separated than it is now. It, it, there were no not really any genres in Chicago. And that, that, uh, that was a, it was a tremendous scene. And uh, Frankie contributed greatly to that scene by being so versatile himself. And do you think, uh, do you think that's, uh, that scene has gone across the world, hasn't it? I mean, its impact is far greater than just, uh, you know, five or six of you guys in Chicago back then. Oh, way greater. And I'd expected the music to expand a lot faster and a lot wider than it did, but it's, it's, it's done a, it's done a, it's done well. <laughs> did, describe what your friend was like. What was he like as a man? He was very reserved, you know, you could, uh, it, but he was all, he was everybody's brother, you know, you could speak to him. You. You may not talk to him for weeks or months or years or even decades, but when you talk to him, you know, it's just like you you spoke to him yesterday. You're, you're still brothers, right? And and uh, he was like that with everyone. You know, he was always friendly, always had something positive to say. So, uh, you know, I, I'll miss him. Everybody will miss him. You say that it was important that his DJing residency at the warehouse in Chicago, what was it about his style as a DJ that was so different and what, what did he bring that, that made such uh, an impact? Uh, it's hard to put into words, but I, the, the most, the, the best thing I can come up with is his music was tasteful. He always, he had a tasteful selection. I mean, not, it, it was, Pure class, the way he played. It was, uh, you know, some people would come up with something cheesy or something, but Frankie was class, you know, very, very tasteful music. Which of his songs will you remember today, and, and what have you remembered today? Well, uh, it would have to be one of his remixes. Uh, I really like the one that he did. Uh, on Alice and Limerick, where love lives, that's the uh, that's the definitive Frankie mix to me. Um, and do you th is it too much to say that this man changed the world? No, it's not. It's not too much to say at all. He had a vision, and it it wasn't necessarily for worldwide music. It was for just good music and spreading, spreading the word. He was our best representative. Every time somebody had something to say or, or ask about house music, Frankie was the first person they went to, 
the, every time, the first person. And he was always a good representative. Like some of us, you know, myself included, may say the wrong things from time to time. But Frankie always, you could always count on Frankie for saying the right thing, saying the positive thing. And uh, that's going to be, <laughs> that's going to be missed. Marshall, we thank you for your time and we're sorry for your loss of your friend. Uh, thank you. And uh, rest in peace, Frankie.